how to mine Ergo in Windows or HiveOS. In this video, we are going to see a tutorial step by step and very easily explain on how to mine Ergo in your computer if you are in Windows or in your computer also if you are in HiveOS, if you are using the special software for mining. We'll do both explanations as easy as possible. But before we start, I always said the same thing. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It helps a lot. And if you want more videos like this, we made a full list about all the coins you can mine and how to mine them, both in Windows and in HiveOS. You can find them in our channel. You can always subscribe. It's totally free if you want to keep up to date with mining news. And lastly, but not less important, if you have any comments at all about the comment or you have any questions you want to ask, you can do it in Instagram. You have the link down below or in the comment section down below. We'll try to answer you. And now lastly, lastly, and I promise this is the last one. If you're looking for mining equipment, we have our own ASIC miner shop with the best prices down in the description below. If you want or you are interested, you can always check it out. And with all that said, let's go! Okay, so here we are and the first thing we are going to need is a wallet. Okay, the things we need for mining, we're gonna start with uh, Windows, is first a wallet where we will mine, second a program that we will use for mining, and third the pool. Okay, the pool is basically the place where we are going to mine. So let's do it step by step. First of all, we need our wallet, the place where we are going to receive our coins. In the case of Ergo, it's not as simple as using Binance because uh, Binance doesn't have Ergo, so we have to use a smaller exchange. In this case, I'm using KuCoin. KuCoin is a very common exchange in general, and I think it's pretty useful. You can use it. You'll have the link down below, hopefully, if I don't forget it, and it's very easy to use, okay? So basically, we have to go here where it shows like a wallet. We click on it, and here we have to go where it says deposit. We click on deposit, and it will tell us, hey, which coin do you want to deposit? Technically, what we are depositing is Ergo, so we put ERG, okay? We put it here, ERG, and then we see Ergo, okay? We click on Ergo, and it will select the network, which is Ergo also, same network, and here we select the address, okay? The address is basically the address of our wallet where we are going to receive our coins. So we just copy the address because we will need it after that, okay? So the second thing we need, as I said is the program for mining. In my case, I'm gonna use T-Rex Miner, okay? You'll have it in the description. Uh, I like it because it, you can use it for a lot of different things. You can use it for Ravencoin, you can use it for Ergo, you can use it all of them, and it comes all together. So you click here in the load in Windows and you download it. There can be a problem, and that is that your computer recognizes this program as a virus. In that case, you will have to create an exclusion, okay? It's known as an exclusion. So as you can see, I already downloaded it, and I put it in a uh, folder called Minero, which is minor in Spanish, and here I'm putting the file that I downloaded. As you can see, it's a zip file. You have to uncompress it after. But in case you have problems with the virus stuff, you will have to open Windows Defender, go to the start, Windows Defender, go to protection against viruses and threats, and then you go to admin configuration, and then you go to exclusions, okay? Here in exclusions, you can create an exclusion, and basically an exclusion is a place where the uh, computer is not gonna check if it's a virus or not. As I said, it's not a virus, it's just a mining program, but sometimes they get recognized like that. Not in my case, this one normally doesn't. Uh, you shouldn't have this problem, but in case you have it, you just create an exclusion and you select the folder that we are using the folder of minor and you just select the folder and you won't have any more problems with that okay so once you do that then you put the file that you downloaded in this folder so you don't have any problems and now as you can see it's a thief file as I said I, we need to uncompress it we go to extract here and we just extract the file you're gonna see there's a lot of files okay because as I said with this same miner you can uh, mine Conflux you can mine Ergo you can mine Ethereum Classic Ethereum uh, Firo, everything you can mine, okay? It's very easy to use, that's why I like it so much. So that's the first step. What do we need now? We need to configure this program so it mines where we want. It's very simple, okay? So here you see that there is like four of them with Ergo. We are gonna use the first one, Ergo slash two miners. Why? Because that's the pool we are gonna use to mine because I think it's very easy to use. So you go to this program, you do right click and you go on edit, okay? You click on edit, I hope it's seen, I hope my camera is not on top of that. And here you'll see some line that we have to change. It's very easy. The only thing we have to do is we have to go back to KuCoin, okay? We copy our wallet address, we just copy it, and then we go here in the block, not block, that we'll have, uh, and we re- paste our wallet here, sorry, one second, okay, there. It will come with a random wallet, you just paste your wallet, okay? Here where it says Rig Zero, you can basically change that by the name, you can put like Rig Pedro, for example, Rig Zero One or whatever you want, okay? That, that you can change, it doesn't affect. And the last thing we have to check is the pool, okay? As I said, we are mining in a pool. The pool is the place where you're gonna get paid, etc., etc. So how can we configure our pool? It's very simple, you go to the pool, to two miners in this case, and then you go to what you're mining, which in this case is Ergo. 
we go to Ergon, we go to Quick Guide, and in Quick Guide, it's going to tell you what is the server address. In this case, you can see it's already here. It says ergo.2miners.com, but this is for Europe, okay? If you are mining from the US, you can see that the others should have US in the beginning. So if you are from the US, you put US slash before this Ergo, okay? In my case, I'm from Europe, so I just leave it how it is. I don't have to change anything, which is uh, pretty comfortable. What do we do now? We just keep it in safe, okay? We save it and we close it. And now we can just mine, okay? It would be very simple. We just open our miner folder again. We just click on it. We go to the file that we were using, which is ergo to miners. We can just delete the other ones if we are not gonna use them. You do uh, double click and you will start mining, okay? It will go automatically. Are you gonna want to do that? No, there's one extra step that is very recommendable to do, which is basically downloading the overclocks. What is the overclocks? Basically, the overclocks are gonna tell the graphic card to work in a specific way, okay? You're gonna be able to use less electricity and mine more. How do we use that? We have to download one problem with one problem, one program, which is called Afterburner, okay, by MSI. Uh, it's very simple, you just go to the page, okay, it's a MSI page, you have it here. I'll leave also the link in the description and you download it, okay? There's a download button, I don't find it right now, but this should be there. And uh, you download it and you'll get this program, okay? MSI Afterburner, it's very easy easy to use. You do double click, you open it, the installation is super, super simple. And as you can see, there's two things that we can change in my case, because, well, I'm in a laptop, but in general, you should have three, which is the core clock, the memory clock, and the power limit, okay? So we will have to change this, but which parameters should we put before we start mining? Well, that's very simple. For that, we'll use one more website, which is this one, which is hashrate.no, okay? We'll go to the main page, so you see how it looks. Basically, this website will tell you the best overclock for each card, for each algorithm. So, as you can see, you go to the website, hashrate.no, and here you search for your graphic card. In my case, let's say, 360 Ti LHR because it's the cards I have not here but in my mining rig but I will use the same example so you can compare later and when the page opens because it seems like the internet is decided to not work right now so let's see if it charges. once the page open we will see all the best options you can mine tío es de coña es que se peta el ordenador y media tío es de coña es de puta coña lo de este wifi tío ok now ok Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm sorry, the internet took some time to charge. I really don't know what. And in, uh, you can see here uh, Ergo plus Caspa, but we need Ergo, okay? So here you go down, 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 and here you can find Ergo, okay? So you just click on the name, and it's gonna take you all the way down to Ergo. Uh, I swear, I don't understand why the Wi-Fi works so bad sometimes, but in my house at uh, 6.30, on the 30s, it, it just explodes. I, I really don't understand why. Anyways, so we'll go, by the, we'll go by hand, because this is gonna take some time, if not. So we go down, 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 and here we have Ergo, okay? So as I said, we have the core, and the memory we saw it here so in core we would put 1700 in memory we would put 2600 and in power limit we would put 140 here i cannot put because i said this is a laptop uh, it's not recommended to mine in a laptop uh, then we would save and also in the fans you can control them from here okay so what do we do now we just make it small okay we would go to our folder we would do double click this time we would open it and we would start mining what we will do which is very important to do actually is uh, keep the after uh, after burner uh, close to check how how it's starting to go. Why? Because here we can control the fans. We can control how quickly the fans move and that way we can control the temperature of the card, okay? It's recommended that the temperature is under 60 at all times. You can see right now it's 48 when I'm recording, so it's all right. But when you're mining, it should go up pretty much. So here you will have this uh, way to, f to change it. Again, I cannot change it because this is a laptop. This is not where I actually mine. You'll see it after. Uh, but normally you just click here and you put the fan speed in percentage that works the best and where the temperature is more stable, okay? It's that simple. So to make Make a quick review so you get it again but as i said it's super simple this this mining tutorial you get your wallet okay you go to kucoin you get your wallet you copy it you download t-rex okay and in t-rex we will use the erg t-rex which is ergo uh slash two miners which is basically for the pool that we are using we go to edit and we put here our wallet in the case that you're from america you have to check that the pool connection is correct okay and if it's europe it should come already done for it you do double click and you can mine already but it's always recommended to do the overclocks on the msi after burner okay with the page that we saw which is the hashrate.no page okay lastly if you want to get paid you go to two miners if you want to check how much you're earning when are you getting paid etc etc as i said you copy the address you're always going to use the address of your wallet you paste it in two miners you do intro and here you can see how much you're earning how much you're mining you can see right now my hash rate is 121 mega hash here you have a 
graph. Uh, well, I'm mining since like 13 seconds ago, seems like that. Uh, I put it recently, that's for sure. And here, the only thing you can change is going into options of account. You can change, you can put your IP, you can search that in the internet, and you can change how often do you want to get paid. Normally, you will get paid once every day, like when you mine one error go, but if you don't have enough um, and you want to get paid every, I don't know, three days, well, then you can put 100 ergo, whatever you want, you can change it, okay? Also, you can change the notifications. So if you put your mail, they will send you a mail every time the, the mining rig falls on the stops mining or whatever, so you can restart it, okay? So that's the tutorial for Windows. I think it's very simple. And now we're going to continue with the tutorial in HiveOS. In HiveOS, super simple to mine, okay? HiveOS always makes everything super simple. So in HiveOS, we just go to our software, to HiveOS, then we go to our farm, and in our farm, we have our mining. As you can see, right now, I'm already mining Ergo. But anyways, let's say we don't, okay? So we would go to our farm, and we have to create a new flight sheet, okay? Basically, a flight sheet is what is telling him what to mine. So here, we would put Ergo, okay? We'd put our wallet, which in this case, we would add new wallet, we would paste our address, and we'll put the name, okay? Whatever we want to put it. Save as global wallet, and create, okay? In my case, I already have it, wallet ergo, we save it. Now we choose the pool. I say, again, I'm gonna use two miners, you can use any, okay? Here is much easier to choose, but I'm gonna use two miners. I'm gonna use Europe, because I'm using one from Europe. If you are in Latin America, Central America, North America, you use US, and that's all. You click on apply, and then on miners, again, I'm gonna use T-Rex, because it's the one I like the most. You can use low miner, you can use nano miner, whatever you prefer. Uh, I like T-Rex, okay? And here we put a name for this, and we put ergo uh, flight seat, for example. Oi. It, it, uh, there it is. We just create the flight sheet, okay? And now we will go back to workers, okay? And the, now in workers, we click in our miner or any of the miners we have in that farm. We go to flight sheet. And in this new flight sheet that we did, we create in the rocket, okay? We click in the rocket and it will apply. I'm already mining Ergo, so it's not really gonna change anything. But that's basically all you have to do. One last thing you have to do, check your overclocks, okay? As I said before, the overclocks will make your miner mine better. So what do you have to do? Basically, you go to this page, which is hashrate.no, okay? Hashrate.no, and you put the model that you are using. So you go to the main page, you can do it from the beginning. And in the main page, you will have all different models of GPUs, of graphic cards, that you can use for mining seems like the page today is charging very bad so uh, let, let's say you go there okay okay here you are you go there and there there's gonna be a lot of different models so you go to the graphic card that you're using in my case the 360 ti lhr and when you get there basically it's gonna tell you which coin is giving you the more profit right now so here we'll find uh, ergo which is the one we want to mine we click in ergo and it will take us all the way down and as you can see we just have to change the core 2700 the memory to 2060 and the power limit 240 well we just come here where it says core memory and pro, uh, power loop uh, power limit sorry and we change them and also here we can change the fans okay the fans is important because uh, depending on how hot the card is we'll put the fans higher or lower right now they have them in 90 with ergo it gets pretty hot you don't want them to be over 60 okay over 55 if you can keep them under 55 it's great if not all right but under 60 is very important so that's all you have to do okay you put the good overclocks and you should be mining already okay hey Pedro but how do I see how much I mine how do I see how to take the money out everything well same thing as in Windows okay you come here I'm repeating it because I'm sure that people who mine in high voice they just go straight up to high voice so basically you will go to to miners okay and here you will put the address of your wallet again you will click on search and you will see the stats, okay? How much you have mined, how much you, you should get paid soon, etc., etc. Uh, here you can see the, well, basically the graph of your hashing. And uh, here you see the data again, okay? So how do I get paid? You can see here in payments, okay? If you got paid already, for now I didn't got paid. And here in options of the account in English, it will tell you how much, how often do you want to get paid? Like, w w what do you want to get paid? Right now I have it set in the minimum, which is every time I mine one ergo, which should be around like three days, uh, I will get paid. But if you don't want that, if you want to get paid every five ergo or 10 ergo, okay, they are just gonna ask you for your IP address. Where can you find that? You go to your highways and here down in your worker, okay, in your individual worker, you see you have remote IP and local IP. Well, the remote IP, you copy it and you paste it there, okay? Not the local, the remote. Uh, I won't show it because uh, it's not good to show that in the internet, so that's why I'm not showing it. I think it's pretty simple. Uh, but yes, you just po po paste it here and you go in save, okay? You can also go in notifications and put your mail so when the miner goes down, it tells you, hey, your miner goes down and you can restart it easily, okay? It's very simple. And with all that said, that would be all, okay? Very simple. In in highways, you just create a new flight seed and you apply it and that's all. It's very simple to mine in highways. That's why we use highways. So if you like this tutorial, 
If you find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, it helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to subscribe, it's totally free. You have the other coins that you may want to mine tutorials in here. You may have other information about GPUs. If you're looking for um, ASIC miners, you have the link to the, to the shop down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!